The winner to take on 22-year-old Daniel Dancuda with the potential $1 million prize money. Cobb's really having his way with Tyrell Biggs toward the end of that last round. But Tubbs, his hands are at his waist. Yeah, he's just walking around, not doing anything. Here's where I, I think Biggs can walk in. Well, <laughs> he didn't jab his way in. And he paid for it. You know, Tony Tubbs, after the uh, loss to Lionel Butler, came out with some very impressive wins, beating Bruce Selden, beating Jesse Ferguson, beating Al Alexander Zolkin. How he lost in the first round to Jimmy Ellis in Idaho is a mystery to me. I didn't well, see the fight, but he did turn 258 pounds could yeah. do that to you. That's true. Good combinations by Tubbs. You, can still, you see the flashes with him. You can see what he was capable of doing. Look at that. I don't know what you call that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Gamesmanship, showmanship, clowning. Biggs trying to maintain his focus. Yeah, he, Terrell Biggs is getting whacked around pretty good here now. And, and I'll tell you what, he's at a loss as to what to do. He's not been able, except in the fight with uh, Sutcliffe, where Sutcliffe was pretty much a target for him, he's been not able to land anything behind the jab. Now he's kind of reaching instead of stepping in with more snap on the jabs, he's kind of reaching with that jab. That left hook was blocked by Tubbs. Only two power punches landed by Tyrell Biggs in this round. It's the illustration that he's not getting the right hand or even the left hook in. Biggs showing some respect for Tubbs' power. Tubbs, you can feel Tubbs saying, I'm just going to do exactly enough of what I think I need to do to win this round. Of course, you can underestimate that if you're Tony Tubbs and do too little. Straight right hand got in by Tubbs. No flurries from Biggs, not putting punches together. Final seconds of the second round. Biggs off balance when he missed the left hook. End of round two. Tyrell Biggs looks frustrated as he went back into the corner. Everything you had, Ty, you got to let go of this thing, okay? Tyrell, you do nothing, he loves this. He loves this. Okay? You got to let go of this thing, okay? You step it up, you'll get time. What you doing? Okay? Bite down for me, okay? Bite down for me, okay? The punching numbers. Tubbs throwing a few more than Biggs. Landing several more than Biggs. Tyrell Biggs just didn't do much at all in that round. His accuracy has not been good, really, <coughs> excuse me, throughout this tournament. Third, final round of this second semifinal of the Super Fights Tournament. Tyrell Biggs in the white trunks, Tony Tubbs in the black. Did you say Tubbs has the lead? Yeah, I thought he won both of the, the first two rounds. And I think Tyrell Biggs would need a huge third round, or for sure, including a knockdown, which doesn't look like it, to win this bout. One thing that Tyrell Biggs could be doing here would be he just did before fainted, but didn't come with anything after it, or jab to the body, mix up his punches a little bit more. He's very one-dimensional in what he's done in this fight. And now he's not even able to hit Tubbs with the jab. Yeah. He's certainly not coming with much behind it. And Biggs really hasn't made Tubbs work at all. Tubbs has done exactly as much as he's wanted to do. He's never been called on to dig down and do something extra. Good combination by Tubbs. 
They trade. And if they trade left hooks, Biggs is not going to get the best of that. Snapping jab by Tony Tubbs. Now Biggs landing. Well, we know one thing. No matter what. With right hands by Tubbs, and he follows up as he sensed he had Biggs hurt. Sorry, I'll go ahead. Okay, we know one thing. If Tony Tubbs wins this match, as he looks like he will, he won't be able to conserve energy against Dan Dan no. He's going to have to do what he did against Willie Jackson in the first fight, and that is counterpunch and knock the guy out. Should point out that the original plan was for the the winner of this fight to get 15 minutes rest following uh, the completion of this bout. That, may, that might change. Yeah, that might change because it's been a long evening. slowing down and Tyrell Biggs who has to realize that he's behind not not opening up and let's look at this rest period no matter what it's a longer rest period for Dan Dan Kuna than yeah. it is for the older guy Tony Tubbs mm. and that's it Tyrell Biggs. Tony Tubbs. Go for Tony Tubbs. That's seven rounds of boxing. So if he were in a, a main event, you know, he'd be going into round he, eight. That's right. He'd be nine and ten. He'd be headed toward the about the point where he's at. Both men obviously tired. Tony Tubbs standing over us talking to the uh, to some of the people here in press row who he has known for years. This may uh, turn out to be yet another disappointment for Tyrell Biggs. Tony Tubbs, one time WBA heavyweight champion. Here's Michael Buffer with a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Casino Magic, all three judges scored about the same. 30 to 27 for the winner by unanimous decision. Now advancing on to the final to fight Daniel Dan Kuda, Tony TNT. He did what he wanted to do. And he was in charge, in control, and the 35-year-old Tony Tubbs will fight 22-year-old Daniel Dan Kuda for the big prize. 170,000 in cash for the night and the potential of getting a $1 million prize, depending on...